<laughs> uh, this is gonna be such a great video, I can already tell. Let's talk about masturbating today. So as you guys know, I masturbate quite a lot. And this video is going to get demonetized. And do I honestly care? No, we don't care. No, because as I said before, if I would care about making money on each individual video, then I would censor as much words as I can. But this video is already going to get demonetized because of the 30 second intro, explicit title, and etc. So enjoy this video. So as you guys know, I masturbate. I am a very honest, open guy. I don't feel embarrassed or really care. Like, like shit, man, I go out and do what I think. I do quite often, yeah, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I do pretty frequently. I try to not do it every day, but you know, sometimes your boy gets excited just like everyone else and uh, I wanna show you something quickly. My new battery for my camera. We all do it once in a while. And I can. I wanna tell you something why it's actually good. Why do people masturbate? For my personal reasons why I do this because it relaxes me. Uh, this may sound really stupid, but if you are if you are a guy just like me, right? I think most of us can relate to, we do it because it relaxes us. You know, sometimes I can't sleep and then sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm not that excited, but let's just do it, I suppose. It makes me fall asleep better. I know it sounds probably super strange if you're female, but this is what some of us guys do. We masturbate because it relaxes us. It releases some th sort of thing and it makes you feel really goddamn tired. And that's what I do it sometimes for. But I mainly do it because of not even relaxation, just just you know, it's it imagining things what I could do with someone, this and this and that. You know, when you don't have when you haven't had sex in a while. Like I have. You know, people masturbate for different reasons. It helps them relax. As I said, they want to understand their body better. So with that I mean like experimenting themselves. That this is one thing I want to just quickly deeply say to someone who's a virgin. My best advice I can give you is Playing with yourself, finding out who you are, what you feel comfortable with, with your own body. Do some tricks, do some things. And if you don't like it or like, eh, then don't do it. That's perfect before you have sex because then you know like, okay, this is what I've done with myself. I know what it feels like and this and that. It's, it's what I did. And I think a lot of us have done that. They want to release sexual tension. It's also a reason, you know. Or their partner isn't around. That's also true. But most people masturbate because it feels good, which I can tell you that yeah that is true I, I this may sound weird but i actually prefer masturbating over sex i don't know if i've told you guys this before but i think it's also because i feel more comfortable with myself and i masturbate i last longer as well and it means that i have more pleasure and enjoyment as well for myself you know that's why as well like i said i'm not embarrassed about these topics they're very very normal they're open topics and i feel like not a lot of people or just in general kind of like creators don't talk enough about masturbating some people would say it's a very private thing. But man, I've been raised and grown up different. I've watched porn since I was fucking six years. You could find porn literally on YouTube back in the days. Kissing scenes, females doing this and this and that. Guys, yeah, my man, that stuff, that stuff got recommended in the days. Well, actually, the thing is with YouTube back like 10 years ago, you didn't get things recommended. You had to, if you want a specific video, let's say a song of Akon, you had to specifically search up the title of the whole song. Keywords weren't the thing. The hashtags weren't a thing back then. It was like Square TV Studio. It was awesome though. Many people think that masturbating is only something you do when you don't have a sex partner. That is not often the case. Some people masturbate as well. Some people just have a boring sex life. Or their partner may not want to have sex yet or they don't feel comfortable. Then he or she might do it with themselves. That's totally fine. That ain't goddamn cheating, man. No, because you're not cheating with someone. You're doing it with yourself. Is masturbate... Look, one thing I can tell you, right? Release it. Masturbating is healthy. A lot of people think it's it's an addiction. In my case, yes, I was addicted to it. Do I do it on a day-to-day basis? Keeping it honest, yes, sometimes I still do like three, two, three, four times a week, uh, a day. Why? Because I guess just tension, sexual tension. I can't release it with someone. I just do it with myself, you know? I try not to make a mess too much, you know? <laughs> I think we've all been in that situation. Let's be honest. All jokes aside, we've all been in that sticky situation. You know what I mean? Guys and females probably. And like I said, I'm not embarrassed. I could give zero shit about what goddamn people think about this. Yo, my goddamn, you're so weird, bro. Yeah, because you may not have been exposed to this normal conversation in your family, or you may have never had an actual decent conversation with someone about this subject. I used to think like this as well when I was seven or eight. I saw to God, I'm not lying to you guys, back in like elementary, they would teach us what sex was, how you got born. I thought it was fucking disgusting. I do, but I think the more you go up, the more you start to understand like, okay, people have sex because they either love that person or they are bored, this and this and that. You start to understand and accept it more as the more you grow up. It's very interesting. Uh, the side effects of masturbation, let's let's see, search it up. 
Oh, God damn it, man, these stupid cookies. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity with few side effects. Many bizarre claims surround masturbation, such as going blind. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, if you shoot in your own eye, maybe. And most of these claims are untrue. Masturbation is when an individual stimulates the genitals for sexual pleasure, which may or may not lead to orgasm. I don't really think I've ever had an orgasm even with sex. I don't even think guys can have orgasms. Is that a thing with guys? I don't know. Masturbation is common along among men and women of all ages and plays a role in healthy sexual development. That's what I meant. Uh, people masturbate for many reasons. These include pleasure, enjoyment, fun, and tension release. I think with most of us that have no girlfriend, tension probably, you know. Some individuals masturbate alone while others masturbate with a partner. Yeah, see, that's fucking weird, man. I'm sorry, that's a bit weird. This article looks at the potential side effects of masturbation and sorts the facts from the fiction regarding masturbation fix. It also identifies some of the health benefits of masturbation. Ha! Many myths exist about the risk of masturbation. However, none of these have ever been proven. There are many myths about masturbation, even though many of them, many of these have been debunked several times, they seem to resurface time and time again. Most claims about masturbation are not backed up by science. There's often no scientific evidence to show that masturbation causes any of the adverse effects suggested. Masturbation will not cause. Sorry, I had to recharge my battery. So as I said, Masturbation will not cause blindness, hairy palms, impotence later in life, erectile dysfunction, <laughs> penis shrinkage, <laughs> penis curvature, low sperm count, infertility, mental illness, physical weakness. Some people, some couples worry that their relationship must be unsatisfying if either one of them masturbates. This too is a myth. Most men and women continue to masturbate either alone or together when they are in a relationship or married, and many did. Many find it an enjoyable part of the relationship. Only one study found that women who masturbate masturbated had happy marriages compared to those who did not masturbate. Okay, so the side effects of masturbation. Masturbation is harmless. Some people may experience chafing or tender skin if they are too rough, but this will usually heal in a few days. Yeah, I've been there as well. Like, forcing yourself to masturbate even though you weren't excited, you know. If men frequently masturbate within a short space of time, they may experience a slight swelling of the penis called an, an edema. This swelling usually disappears within a couple of days. Other potential side effects include guilt. I've also had that sometimes. Not even guilt, but like, goddamn disappointment. Like, uh, this was such a bad video, you know. Some people who worry that masturbation conflicts with their religious, spiritual, or cultural be beliefs may experience feelings of guilt. However, masturbation is not immoral or wrong, and self-pleasure is not shameful. Discussing feelings of guilt with a friend, healthcare professional, or therapist that specializes in sexual health might help a person to move past feelings of guilt or shame that they connect with masturbation. Decreased sexual sensitivity. It's probably about how active you are. Aggressive or excessive masturbation techniques may lead to reduced sexual sensitivity, so less sex with your partner potentially, or less interest in having sex. If men have an aggressive masturbation method that involves too tight a grip on the penis, they can experience decreased sensation. A man can resolve this over time with a change of technique. You gotta just masturbate good, man. You gotta learn how your hands. Oh. Oh my god, what? And child stimulation such as using a vibrator may increase arousal and overall sexual function sex sexual function in both men and women. I don't know about that one bro. Women who use a vibrator have reported improved sexual function and lubrication while men experienced an improvement in erectile function. Hey, that's good. Prostate cancer. Ooh, the jury is out as to whether masturbation increases or decreases the risk of prostate cancer. Researchers need to conduct more studies before they can reach a conclusion. In rare cases, some individuals may masturbate more than they desire, which may, oh boy, do I see myself in this one? Let's read it. Cause them to miss work, school, or important social events, interrupt the person's daily functioning, affect their responsibilities and relationships, serve as an escape from relationship issues or substitute for real life experiences. So basically, just people that watch porn a lot. As I said, I haven't watched porn yet. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I have been watching porn recently. Just because I'm bored as fuck. And I think a lot of us can relate to that. That's the video, man. Hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. As I said, I'm a very honest, open guy. I don't feel embarrassed and don't get embarrassed about these subjects. Matter of fact, I think it's very important talking about these subjects. And um, yeah, what can I say? Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Today on the podcast channel, later on Keegan Mukpings, we got a Burger King Mukping with my dad coming out. So I'd like to thank you all so much for joining in this video, and I'll see you tomorrow, man. Peace out.